Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here, and within this video I want to talk about, and it's a question a lot of people have asked, is, is the Osmo Action or the GoPro better? So let me preface this by saying I've got hundreds, maybe even thousands of GoPro videos. I've been using GoPro since GoPro Hero 2. I love GoPro. Uh, GoPro kind of took a weird turn when they went public, when they started uh, uh, trading their stock publicly. And when that happened, it was, it was kind of weird. It's like they rushed some products out and then they had the failure with the GoPro Karma drone. And although their current model, GoPro Hero 7 Black, is a good camera, I, I just feel like they've been, I feel like they were uh, shaken up a little bit because of Wall Street. But whatever the case may be, this video is about my opinions in regards to the Osmo Action and GoPro. So the short answer is that because of this forward-facing screen, the Osmo Action should be a lot better than the GoPro. But after using, and, and again, this is, is something where I'm going to thoroughly continue to test, and with this being a new product, I haven't had my hands on it as long as I have the various model GoPro cameras. So it wouldn't be fair to say that, oh, Osmo Action's better without having used it for a lot longer uh, time frame. So uh, with that being said, my thoughts so far are, well, obviously this forward facing screen is a game changer, especially if I'm doing a, if I'm walking and talking, doing a selfie type thing, where I've got this out in front of me on the monopod, being able to not guess and say, am I in the camera, am I in the camera's field of view and actually see myself on the screen, okay, I'm in the camera's field of view that's huge, that's a major improvement. And I realize that's not for everyone because a lot of people's use case for a GoPro or an Osmo Action may be mounting it to the front of a vehicle. You know, a boat, an airplane, a helicopter, a kayak or something like that where they wouldn't necessarily see the front of the camera. But if you are doing those selfie segments, the addition of that forward facing screen is very nice. And obviously it has a screen on the back as well. As far as, uh, as far as video quality is concerned, I will say the color from the Osmo Action is different than the color from the GoPro. I can't say one's better than the other because, I mean, ultimately what I do, I do uh, color correction within post-production within Final Cut Pro 10. So to me, that's, that's a moot point. But the stability, and that's, that's where it really, uh, that's the big differentiator now. This has what's called... Uh, what's called rock steady, which is DJI's, you know, in-camera stabilization. And I will say it does a very good job. Yes, it's not as good as a mechanical gimbal like the Osmo Pocket. But again, this camera's for a different use case. This is a more ruggedized and waterproof camera. This is something you would snork that, you know, you would snorkel with, maybe go scuba diving with, uh, those sorts of activities. So to have the stability in camera without the use of a mechanical gimbal is pretty neat and, and I will say from what I've seen the stability from the Osmo Action it looks better than the current model GoPro. Now I'm sure I'm assuming that GoPro is likely clamoring to come up with something to compete with the Osmo Action and it's probably safe to assume that the next GoPro will likely have a forward-facing camera and it's, it's going to be interesting to see how GoPro responds because right now based upon my many years of experience with GoPro cameras, check out my hundreds of videos and see for yourself. Based upon my many of years, many years rather, of experience with GoPro cameras and only a few days with my Osmo Action, I can say that I like the Osmo Action more. But again, I say that cautiously because I've only used this for a few days. You know, there could be a major problem that I discover. You know, I haven't yet, but it's always a possibility. So, you know, don't, uh, you know, someone shouldn't jump to an assumption that, oh, just because something seems better and is better out of the box and after using it for a few days, you know, don't jump to the assumption that it's, that it's definitely better. But right now, after using this for a few days, unless something uh, catastrophic occurs, you know, I feel that this will, with it, will, uh, will without a doubt be the best camera, in my opinion. You know, should I get Osmo Action or should I get GoPro? Right now, I would say, I would say, well, you know, unless something changes and makes Osmo Action a horrible decision, 
I would say Osmo Action, but so far my experience, everything except for the for the days of use or the years of use, I should say, that's the differentiator for me between GoPro and Osmo Action. You know, I can't I can't confidently say yes, Osmo Action is better only after using it for a few days. But unless something changes that's that makes my opinion turn to the negative, without a doubt, this is the best camera. So it's it's very, um, it was very unexpected. It's very cool that DJI released this. And a lot of people question, they're like, man, why did DJI wait, you know, so, so long to release a GoPro competitor? Because, you know, they're already, without a doubt, DJI is the number one drone brand. I think it would be difficult for anyone to argue that. But now, with a serious GoPro competitor such as this, you know, they're positioning themselves to not only be the number one drone brand, but slowly start to suck in those those GoPro fans. Now there's going to be a big base of GoPro hardcore GoPro fans like myself. I mean, I when it came to action cameras, GoPro was always in. I knew there were some competitors at the time, several brands that made GoPro like cameras, but they were never really that good. This is the first GoPro like camera that I've used that's actually not just really good, but is actually at this point in time better in my opinion than the GoPro and again I say that cautiously because I've only used this for a few days but yeah this this is some serious stuff so this this is potentially positioning DJI to start to win some of those loyal GoPro users and say hey you know why don't you check out why don't you check out our product instead you know check out our our Osmo Action you know you're and that, that's the thing about this, and I, I don't know, and again, I don't have a background in, in product design or development, but I don't know how DJI was, was able to get away with this design, because I mean, it's, I'm even using this, this mount that I've got it on right now, and you can find the Osmo Action, and also this monopod, just expand this video's description, and then click the link there, and you can find them both there. But I don't know how DJI was able to uh, was able to get away with uh, with designing a camera that looks so similar in design to a GoPro, but not only looks similar, but it's able to use able to attach to the GoPro style mounts. And you know, obviously, that was a huge win for me because I've accumulated tons of GoPro mounts over the years, and that's something I always admired about GoPro is that when they came out with the newer GoPro cameras, they were always compatible with the older GoPro mounts. So I just had to buy a new camera. I didn't have to continue, you know, continue to repurchase new mounts. And, and that was really cool. But that's awesome that the Osmo Action is compatible with all these mounts because I've, I've already got tons of GoPro mounts. And now I can repurpose those for my, for my Osmo Action. So, you know, if you're, if you're out buying a camera today and you're, and I'm not saying it's a risk, because DJI has proven themselves, at least for me, with their drones. They've been, they've been great, very well made, solid performers. But obviously this is DJI's first entry into the action camera space. So, you know, there could be problems that could be discovered. I'm not saying that there will be, but that's a possibility. But again, after a few days of using, unless things change, this is without a doubt my favorite camera. I like it better than the GoPro. And that's not to say that GoPro couldn't come, with, come out with something within the next few days that completely dethrones the Osmo action. But given the uncertainty of, well, I've only used this for a few days versus GoPros that I've used for many years. I've been using GoPro since GoPro Hero 2. I never got on the GoPro bandwagon with GoPro Hero 1 because I didn't really understand what it was all about. And then I figured out, oh, this is an action camera and this is what I'll use it for. And that's why I filmed why I filmed so many videos with my GoPros on my channel because it was just really cool to get those to get those in the water shots and and mounted uh, you know mounting a camera to various things it's just a cool experience but yeah this uh, you know if you if you don't if you, if you're if you're hesitant to pull the trigger on something that is uh, is new you know only been out for a week or so you know you you may want to go with GoPro if you're if you're that type of buyer but if you feel confident that DJI has released a quality product, I can tell you from my experience, the only DJI product that I've not liked, and I'm not ashamed to say this because I didn't like it, it didn't work for me, the Ronin S, the handheld uh, gimbal for 
uh, gimbal stabilizer that I used in my Sony Alpha. It just didn't work. It never would balance properly. But that's the only DJI product that I've had any gripes with. So, you know, if their track record continues to be positive in my book, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't feel that this is going to fail me. But, you know, if you're, uh, if you're on the fence and you want to continue to wait and watch, you know, future videos from me and from other YouTubers about the Osmo action, then maybe that's what you want to do. But if you're looking for it today, whether you're looking for the Osmo action, the GoPro, or the mounts, <laughs> the mounts work with either GoPro or Osmo action, which is cool. Just expand this video's description and then click the link there and you can find everything there. Tell me what you think. What has your experience been with GoPro? What has your experience been with Osmo Action? Why do you feel that way? Comment down below. Oh, and subscribe to my channel. And when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Irick Sky here. Thanks again for your viewership. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. If you're looking for uh, Irish Guys Adventure Channel merch, like this t-shirt and a lot of other cool stuff, expand this video's description. You can find it all there. Y'all have a good day.